we are here to worship our god we are here to honor our god we are here to lift up our god god has put us given us this opportunity given us this time given us this place given us this beautiful moment so that we can glorify him we can honor him we can lift we can magnify his name that's why god has given this opportunity in our hands let's just enter into the presence of god with thanksgiving open up your mouth and con- tell god lord i'm i'm grateful to be this time be in this place be in this hour connecting with your people connect to worship connecting to honor oh god oh let that be your voice this morning let that be your prayer this morning open up and tell god lord i'm coming i'm coming to praise you i'm coming to worship you father i consider this as a privilege father i consider this as an opportunity father i consider this as a great thing that i could grasp and take in my hands and into my heart because Lord out of this place out of this commitment out of this focus Lord flows every aspect of my life oh God so I come right now prepared I come right now focused I come right now Lord depending on the work of Jesus on that cross I come depending on the blood that cleanses me that qualifies me gives me access to the presence of God I come depending on the righteousness that has been given to me as a cloth to be put upon so that I can stand right before my God I come God I come to worship. I come to honor. I come to give praise. I come to declare you. I come to lift you up. Oh hallelujah. Let that be your prayer. Let that be your prayer. Open up your mouth and pray. Open up your mouth and say to your God. Open up your mouth and tell God, Lord, I we all come as a church we come, as a brothers and sisters we come to praise, to worship, to honor you, God. Oh hallelujah. 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 Thank you God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for sustaining us through this week. Thank you for the favor you showed. Thank you for the love you gave. Thank you for the revelations you poured. Thank you for the answers you gave. Thank you for the deliverances you showed. I give you praise. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I come to you, Lord, with praise. I come to you, Lord, heart filled with thanks for all that you have done so far. Hallelujah. We welcome you. in this house lord holy spirit come and take over this service come and take over this service take over lord every part of this service every moment of this service lord every aspect of this service every part of this service lord no matter wherever they are we are all worshipers we are all praisers we are all your servants we are your disciples we are lord here as your sons and daughters to do whatever we are called to do in this house oh god lord we invite you to take over this service let your river flow through this service let your river flow into our minds into our hearts into our souls into our homes lord let your river flow let your river flow hallelujah we welcome you holy spirit to be the one who leads worship to be the one who leads us into truth you are our leader take your leadership in jesus name Amen 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 hallelujah hallelujah without the holy spirit our life is nothing our services are nothing when the holy spirit comes everything changes and he is right here god has to- god has told in his word that if evil fathers can give good things that when you ask the holy spirit that's what not just the good things it talks about the holy spirit in one of the passages it says if you ask of the holy spirit will you not will he not give Oh hallelujah his presence is right in our house in this house it, it as close as possible many times you we we think the holy spirit is not close to us because we don't feel him sometimes you may feel him sometimes you may not you may not feel him it's not about the feeling it is about the truth god is with you more closer than you think more closer than you perceive God is with you. The presence of God, the spirit of God is here, right here, right with you. Let's declare it. Let's say how the river of God, the spirit of God flows into our lives and turns our lives into a life of praise and a life where we rejoice in our God. Let's declare it. Wherever it grows Through the valley 
rushing wherever it goes Through the valleys and over the fields The river is rushing, the river is here The river of God sets our feet on dancing The river of God sets our hearts with cheer The river of God fills our mouths with laughter And we rejoice for the river is here for the river is here The river of God sets our feet of dance The river of God fills our hearts with cheer The river of God fills our mouths with laughter And we rejoice the river is here And we rejoice the river is here The river of God is feeding with life can be revived All those who linger on this river shore Will come back thirsting for more of the Lord The river of God is teeming with life And all who touch it can be revived All those who linger on this river shore Will come back thirsting for more of the Lord Feet are dancing, the river of God fills our hearts with cheer. The river of God fills our mouths with laughter, and we rejoice for the river is here. And we rejoice for the river is here. The river of God sets our feet of dancing. The river of God fills our hearts with cheer. The river of God fills our mouths with laughter and we rejoice the river is here and we rejoice for the river is here hallelujah the river is here the river is flowing in this house just enjoy the river let the presence of god flow into your minds and into your thoughts and into your emotions and into your heart hallelujah up to the mountain we love to go To find the presence of the Lord Along the banks of the river we run We dance and sing, giving praise to the sun Up to the mountain we love to go To find the presence of the Lord Along the banks of the river we run we dance and sing, giving praise to the sun. The river of God sets our feet a dancing. The river of God fills our hearts with cheer. The river of God fills our mouths with laughter. And we rejoice, for the river is here. And we rejoice, for the river is here. Oh, the river of God sets our feet a dancing. The river of God fills our hearts with cheer The river of God fills our mouths with laughter And we rejoice for the river is here And we rejoice for the river is here The river of God is steaming with light And all who touch it can be revived all those who linger on this river shore will come back thirsting for more of the Lord. The river of God is streaming with light, and all who touch it can be revived. All those who linger on this river shore will come back thirsting for more of the Lord. The river of God sheds our feet up. Here. And we rejoice for the river is here. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Put your hands together, give him the praise. The river is in this house. The river is in this place. The river is close to you. And as you, as you touch that river, there is so much of revival that can be coming into your soul right now. You may would have come lonely. You may would have come sad. You may would have come with all those emotions that suppressing you and oppressing you. But God's word say, instead of the spirit of heaviness, God clothes you with a garment of praise. And that's possible when you touch the river and the river touches you. Hallelujah. The river is here. My friend, many a times we cannot make a decision to go ahead and change the way we are. But when the river comes, when the presence of God come when the Holy Spirit starts flowing my friend you cannot contain yourself you cannot hold yourself back because the river of God sets our hearts a cheer the river of God changes us it makes us to dance it makes us to sing it makes us to do things for God that we wouldn't have do we wouldn't be doing otherwise hallelujah hallelujah our hope is built on nothing less than the blood of Jesus and the righteousness of God. We've been hearing about the righteousness of God. Our righteousness can never put us before God. My friend, when you're, if, you're, if you're feeling bad about how you've been living, if you're feeling bad of how your lifestyle is, and if you're feeling condemned this morning, I want to tell you that you don't have to go through those things because God's righteousness already given to you irrespective of how you are so that you can stand before Him. I'm not telling you that you can live the way you are. But I'm telling you you can come the way you are. Hallelujah. There's a difference. I'm not telling you to live the way you are. But if you come the way you are and trust the righteousness of Jesus, it's going to change you. When you put your trust in the righteousness of God and if you say Jesus is the solid rock, I stand. My friend, you will not be shaken. You will not be broken and you will not be shattered when the winds come across your life. Jesus is our righteousness. Jesus is the solid rock on whom we stand. Let's confess. Let's declare and give him the glory. <clears throat> Oh, 
the ground is sinking sand all other ground is sinking sand it is better to trust in the Lord than to put your trust in man it is better to trust in the Lord than to put your trust in princess oh hallelujah all other ground is sinking sand all other ground are sinking sand oh hallelujah that's what the psalmist identified it's better to trust God than to trust man it is better to trust God to, bre- to put our trust in the princess that is mean whoever is in authority my friend, it is better to trust God than whoever is in authority. The authority of this world will change, but the authority of God will never change. All authority is in the hands of your Savior. That's what he declared before going to heaven. It's better to trust in God. But how did he come to that conclusion? The word of God says before that, he came to the conclusion it's better to trust in God than man and princess because he understood and he got a revelation that God is on his side. Hallelujah. Unless he has not got that revelation that God is on his side, then he wouldn't have come to the conclusion of saying and declaring it is better to trust God. My friend, today we need an understanding that God is on our side. The devil is run our life many days, many months or many years for, even for some that God is not on your side. God is against you. God's always looking at you to punish you, to put you down. No, my friend, God's on your side. God's on your behalf. If God is for us, then what can man do to us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray to God. Let's worship God and let's ask our Lord, open my eyes this morning. 
to see you that you are close to me that you are near me that you are on my side no matter whatever I go through you never leave you never forsake I want to see you that you're close hallelujah let's pray let's worship
want to see. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed are those who are pure in a heart, for they shall see God. My friend, it's not just talking about the purity, the moral purity of the heart, but it talks about the oneness of the search toward God. Divided heart. It talks about a pure devotion, the clear focus, the undivided expectation of God and His presence. If that's what you will have this morning, you will see God. Holy, holy, holy. Lord, we come holy, holy, forgetting, putting aside of all that is of the past, pressing towards this one thing this morning, worshiping you with one heart. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, we want to see you. We want to see you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open our hearts, O oh God. I know you are opening our hearts right now. You're opening so that people can see you. Your son and daughters can see you, God. See you high and lifted up. See you reigning. See you powerful. See you glorious. See you in love. See you in favor. See you for them. Holy, holy. Worship. Keep worshiping the Lord. Holy, holy. Open the, Open your eyes. Open your eyes. For he's here, for he's here. Thank you, Lord. You are holy, holy. Lord, there is none like you. You are holy. Holy glory to you, hallowed. You are holy, holy. Say to him, there is none like you, God. You are holy, you are holy. Yes, Lord. Holy. Glory to you. Father, we stand in your holy presence, putting off all the masks we wear, O oh God. Our souls laid open and bare before your very presence, O oh God. We are confident of this one thing that we stand with your righteousness. Be confident of this one thing that you have accepted and adopted as your sons and daughters, oh God. But Lord, we stand in awe of this glorious presence and the glorious God who has owned us, who has called us and called us his own. And with reverence we stand, with, with the honor we stand. We stand, Lord, with the holy fear. We stand with the holy awe of how great and how majesty, how glorious and powerful you are seated on the throne. Thank you, Lord, for the closeness to the throne. Thank you. This is where we belong. We stand in awe. Stand with the thanksgiving. Stand with praise. Stand with honor. To give it all to you. To give it all to you. I empty myself as your sons and daughters empties, empties, empty themselves, oh God, to pour out all they are bought to you this morning. Receive our worship. Receive our honor. Our works cannot please you, God. But our hearts 
that's filled with thanks and praise will satisfy you. And that's what we have now. A heart filled with you and what you've done. Thank you. Thank you. We worship you. Hallelujah. All the glory and all honor belongs to your Father. We give it to you in Jesus' name. Join with me and say all glory, all honor, and all the praise to your Father. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Let's be seated. Let's be seated.